Hey crafty family, it's me. And today we are going to play with some ATCs. Woo woohoo! But these ATCs are going to be very special because we are going to make waxy ATCs. We are going to melt some crayons and make some really fun ATCs. Doesn't that sound fun? I'm going to show you how to do it and it's really easy and it's a lot of fun. Get out your old crayons. I've got two containers like this full of crayons. So what you're going to do is, in this case I painted the um, chipboard um, that I had black. Painted it black and what I did was I kept, I did like a whole sheet, uh, it's like an 8.5 by 11 size so it gave me nine uh, ATCs. I already did these two. I just dropped one. Mm. I already did these two. They came out cool, didn't? Isn't that cool? Um, and these, I left four down to be like drippers, drip catchers, basically. And I like the way the drips look. They come out, you know, cool in their own right. So I've been keeping the drip catchers. This one, I had some drips and I sat here and just blow dried them and spread them out some. I was just playing. You could play. It's fun to play. So you want to choose colors. And I already have some that I broke up over here and I'm just going to stick with those colors because I think they came out really cool. And since you're doing black, um, you want to um, make sure that the colors you're using are bright. Like you don't want to use like super dark colors because they're not going to show up. So you want to use bright colors. So you want to peel your crayons and break off little pieces. I mean, these are as big as you want. This is as big as you want to go and even smaller than that would be fine. You don't need a lot at all. So I'm just going to sit here and peel and break. Peel and break and peel and break. But I like the colors that I had picked out. I think they came out cool. So we're going to kind of stick with them. I might add an, another kind of pinkish color in here. Because um, I've got this orange. But you want to go over a standard ATC. You want at least six colors. You can probably fit more than that. Um, but you don't want it to be less than six because it doesn't doesn't show up as well. Let's see. Let's find a bright kind of pink color. What's this? Hot magenta. Doesn't that sound perfect? And it's different from that kind of color there. So sounds good to me. Let's give it a try. One, two, three, four, five, six. Basically you want to basically you want it to be able to sit them vertically across the whole top of your ATC. So seven is really the number and I'm going to try to pick these up without knocking them over. But see what I mean? You want them to sit kind of like that. So we're going to pick seven colors. Which one haven't I done yet? I think this light green, but I think I might switch it up a little bit. I might use a blue. Let's do it like this. Because I'm trying to, let's do, hmm, I don't know if that's pretty bright enough. This would be bright enough. Let's see, let me make sure. Now you can do this on white paper and then you don't have to worry about what color you use, you can use anything. do and they like to roll around a bit so it's kind of a pain in the ass so that's good so now here's the thing what I discovered was if you kind of attach them to the top of the card you end up with this thing here this like space so then I figured this out take an extra strip um, like a scrap strip attach them 
to that, like here. That's right, I, now I did that on there, which I shouldn't have done. Okay, so there's my strip underneath of there. It's black on black, I apologize. You're not gonna be able to see, but trust me, there's a little piece of chipboard there. You want to put them on there like that. Take some painter's tape. Painter's tape works really well. The thing is, you want to tape the painter's tape around like so. Stick to the top so that they stay steady. And then you want to be able to pick it up and wrap it around that piece of chipboard. Try to keeping keeping the pieces of crayon in place. It's a little tricky. And I'm actually going to cut away at the painter's tape at the bottom here. Does that make sense? You're going to make a little sandwich of painter's tape and crayons. And then what you're going to do is flip it over and you're going to connect, connect it kind of right there with some more painter's tape. Right at the very edge so that it'll get the entire thingamabobber. Whoops, that one didn't. Like so it's just connected. So now, no matter what, if you can look, see how the crayons are going to run down exactly where they're supposed to and go right onto this card without leaving a gap at the top. So you've got your seven crayons tucked in. The thing is, you want to leave this part open because sometimes you're gonna heat it from in here. Other times we're gonna heat it directly on the painter's tape. It all works out just fine. So now what I do is I took any kind of pliers or something to hold it with and I held it just on the very, I just kind of tried to grab some sort of edge where I could without messing everything up. Maybe I can get it from here. There we go, that'll work. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'm, well, here, I'll just grab it right here. You just because I don't want to grab it down here. I mean, I could, I guess, but I'd rather grab it at the very top. So you grab it like that. You have all your crayons in there, and then you're gonna take your heat tool. First, you're gonna well, first you're gonna set these up. You're gonna set up your drop pieces that you want to use to catch your drips. You're gonna set them up underneath of where you're at, and you're gonna try to stay. You're going to try to stay, on, you know, with it over these. And I know if you're paying attention to this and it's hard, but you want to try to stay at that point. You could start off on high if you have a two-speed heat gun. You could start off on high and then move to low once they start getting hot. Because if you keep it on high, the wax is going to just blow everywhere, you know, and you won't have much control. And you want to kind of be able to control it by turning it and this, that, and the other. So I usually start off on high and then move it to low. So let's get started. I usually heat from the top a little bit and then heat from the front some. And you can just heat right over that painter's tape, it won't hurt it. Ah, see, I knew that was going to happen. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes the crayons will just say, F you, I'm coming out. So, what will happen is eventually they will kind of stick themselves to the inside of the card. But it takes a minute, you know, for that to happen. So I'm going to hold it like this and get the wax going. Once the wax starts to melt, it kind of adheres, the crayons adhere themselves and they don't fall out anymore. That, or they do fall out. Why are these falling out more than my other ones did? That's all right. You just keep putting them back. I might have to adjust the tape. 
the first time it didn't do that but it's okay we will adjust we will make we will make fix I promise it's going to be okay I think the tape on top is not it's not tight enough whereas it was before a lot tighter so let's take this off and tighten things up a little bit we'll take that off because usually it'll stay put pretty damn good so what I'm gonna do is take a piece of tape I'm gonna no that didn't work I didn't want it to be so thick I wish they made like half inch painters tape <laughs> well whatever I'm gonna try to lock these on there I'm gonna have to close that up some all right hopefully hopefully they'll stay you just gotta put a lot of pressure I mean you can use duct tape but I would be afraid that the duct tape would rip apart your ATC but you could try it and maybe we'll try that on another one just to see what would happen because the duct tape might hold better I really didn't have this problem the first time it's only because I'm filming of course first time everything worked out perfect <laughs> oh gotta get my cards back here my drip cards okay drip cards in place let's try this again drop it to low. You want to be careful. See how there's no color there? It kind of all ran down. So you want to be careful to try to arrange it so that you get some color there. And that it doesn't all run off. that one looks good what do you think I think it looks flipping awesome and we got some good drips down here too so now for this we can just kind of take the tape off and let it sit and dry but that's how it came out and of course we'll take off any of those little spots later isn't that awesome it came out so awesome now there's still a lot of crayons there's still a lot of wax in here there's still enough to do like an entire ATC so all you need to do is just reattach another card and you'll have enough wax and if you don't you can just stop and add more you know what I'm saying like there looks like to be enough so I'm gonna keep going with this down here a little bit. I started on low since they're already still warm. Uh, we gotta fix this. There we go.
that's all I'm gonna get out of that one but I think it looks awesome some of it ran down the back that's okay sweet I think that's all we'll get out of that one but I think that came out awesome they're all always gonna come out different which is awesome um, actually rather than waste this lovely color I'm going to take the third and final one and we got some good drips on these man they're perfect in their own right we can add to those as well since there's still a lot of crayon here I'm going to take it off the tape it's nice and soft and kind of just put it on there like that you don't want to throw it away because this is perfectly good perfectly good color right here and if you use low you can melt it right down cool is that and then you just while it's still warm pick off the remainders of the chunks and then you can go back in and heat it to fill up the holes like that isn't that awesome oh my goodness so I'm gonna add some of these chunks I mean we're really getting our money's worth here back onto here you can even peel off what's on your mat throw them on these have a tendency to blow around a little bit oops hold on see it blows around a bit but once you get it going it's, it's good So we got nine ATCs out of a couple of chunks of crayons. I mean, seriously, how cool is that? Look at that one. Isn't that awesome? And it feels all smooth and nice. Feels nice. I'm going to actually take some, I want to put some pink in this one. So I'm going to rip this one open. That's from before. It's still got stuff in it. You can also just take a chunk of crayon in between some tweezers and do it that way. Another color, I think I got this blue, which I just flung across the room. <laughs> Let me get some more blue. Or right here, some of this sea green. Let me get some of this. Let me get some of this. Heat it up faster. Oh, 
<laughs> Get back here. <laughs> Alrighty. You see what I mean? You can kind of get it where you want it to be and make it all kinds of fun. Take this orange one if I can get it off of here. You can kind of design with you know kind of create your own art with it and of course yeah drop it um this will come right off the craft mat it'll just kind of scrape right off so make sure you're using a craft mat because you can just take your credit card and again you can take this as long as the colors aren't turning to mud you can take these off and put these on another atc and and heat them and you know what i mean like you don't have to waste this is a very no waste pro uh, project which is a lot of fun so there you go kids which actually i'm going to throw these out because i'm not going to make any more today but let's see what we got here we got some drippy ones and now you, now you can decorate them however you want. I mean, you can add embellishments to them, add a quote, just add a simple quote on them, you know. Here's this one here, and this one, and this one, and this one. Or you can use these for a pocket letter. There's enough here for a pocket letter. Nine pieces for, you know, your pocket letter. And how easy is that? So easy, and it looks like you took forever, and it looks like a piece of art. So definitely give these a try because they're a lot of fun. They're really easy. Break out those crayons that your kids aren't using anymore, that you're not using anymore. You only need the tips of six or seven crayons. I mean, it's not even like, even if you used your kids' current crayons, like they'd even miss that little piece. And you could do all of these just with seven pieces of crayon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you'll do what you love and love what you do. And that's it. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye. Mwah.